Still no engines on board. So we're gonna to get towed to the new spot. We've got lots of helping hands. Is it safe? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's safe. I'm steering, these lads are doing everything else. I'm not even steering. I'm focused. Yeah. Yeah. Los! Got my uh, boat hook as a tiller bar temporarily. Cheers boys! Nice! Cheers Bas, the man with the tools! <laughs> and we have here Case, son of Max, the boat yard owner, Vincent Levoir, setting off on a round the world adventure very soon. So basically, I just want to get this beam finished and lashed in. And then I think I will stop redoing the beams and then just um, focus on more fun stuff. <laughs> I definitely want to start thinking about my engines and even my rigging also. <laughs> uh, I want to get a hold of it. I want to make a start at least. So last night, with the help of my glamorous assistant, we laminated the bottom part of the beam. However, I mean today is an absolute scorcher, but the condensation in the evening is ridiculous. So it went a bit milky on the top. So if anyone has any experience with epoxy milkiness after a moist evening, then let me know. I am now fiberglassing the top part. I've sanded off all the fiberglass because if I put fiberglass over fiberglass it's going to be a different dimension and uh, yeah so I've sanded all that down, acetoned it, shouldn't really be touching it.
beam fits really snug. I've just sanded it back a little bit after uh, the fiberglass yesterday. And now I'm just gonna put an epoxy paint on it and then get the end cap on and a little locator box on and then this will be done. So I picked up some more Douglas fir planks because I'm just going to flatten my deck out so that I have the optimum working space and it's also going to be nice just to have all of the decks decked. The beam's all painted, finished, I've uh, put the end cap on with some epoxy. So I got in touch with the previous owner and asked if there was a mass step and he had the mass step. <laughs> I can't believe it. This was going to be so much work to make something like this or design something like this. Look at it. Oh, Where I just placed it, that's where the mast will go. All I need really for the mast step now is a big piece of timber that will support this and that piece of timber will go across two beams. I may also extend it as well. Have like a, well, no good timber shops are open at the weekend, it's Saturday now. So, a lot of loose ends to tie up. Do some lashings, do some, I need to put the locating blocks on the beam. I also start to work out where I'm gonna put the chain plates and check out the chain plates and all that stuff. Fun stuff. super stupid. I've already laid the deck and I actually need to lift this beam out again so that I can screw in these locator blocks. I'm not going to lift the deck up now, not after tying it down. I'll just do it later. Let's have a look where the chain plate should be. <laughs> it is so hot these last few days. Last week I was complaining about the summer disappearing but it's so hot. This is one of the main bulkheads and there was holes drilled either side. Hanukkah basically told me to oversize drill these holes just to check the plywood on the outside to see if it's okay. She said that the chain plates could be put here. I'm kind of tempted not to have them here with the holes so close to the bulkhead. I can't imagine getting a washer in there would be very good, uh, especially up at this top one, unless I move the whole thing down. I have these ridiculous bits which should hopefully 
oversized drill. These were given to me by a subscriber called Yap. Thanks, Yap. So this bulkhead does have a big fillet and that's been drilled through and um, the plywood behind is not rotten actually so uh, yeah interesting so right now I'm thinking I'm not going to use these holes I really don't like that top hole where uh, in the plans actually you put ply back in here and you can have the chain plates here. There was also rot around the window so I don't want to do it too close there. So perhaps in the middle. What I'm going to do now so that I can fully understand, I think it basically goes stringer, stringer, stringer. But just to double check, I'm going to cut out the other side like Hanukkah said. Then I can get a better idea of it. But I might, and also get better at it, I need to not cut too deep. So I um, would just want to cut a little panel out here basically uh, this is all this is all wet anyway so mm. I don't know if you can see the wood. So it's actually wet still here. Um, but the wood was epoxy coated and it's so it's so hard. But it was wet. I'm sort of getting there. It looks kind of okay. It's a bit rotten on this side and the inside. Need to fix it on the outside as well. But I will uh, yeah just Replace the foam, try and find some place that has foam. Uh, put a new piece on here. I'm gonna cut out a piece here now because it was leaking through these holes and a lot of this moisture is from here actually, as well as here. Had a funny experience at the timber shop today 
when I was trying to get the beam that's going to support my mast, the boss refused to speak English with me. <laughs> so, and it's like the only close place uh, that has good wood and obviously not having transport's not easy and you can't really buy good hardwood online and I think that's a bit of a problem trying to get high quality wood here um, if you're just looking for one piece they're just not interested anyway continuing uh, with this stuff the foam here was wet all the way down here and actually these stringers, uh, this one's not too good but all the stringers were really well coated with epoxy and they're all okay which is really nice the problem is the roof here, the, it's actually a spongy deck there so you can kind of see that can you see that? What? I'm gonna be pretty brave with the uh, fine saw, whatever you call it. I'm gonna try and cut out a square there, and then I can put a new piece of 9mm plywood. I might be able to bend it actually, get some bend in it. I can also put some wooden blocks in here and here to support it up as well. That's the fiberglass there. cut a rectangle out but uh, this plywood is all good and it was really difficult to take off so I've just cut like a basic shape with diagonals on. Thomas is here to help so he's gonna cut out the piece but yeah chiseling down to the edge getting this stuff out is uh, really time consuming very difficult trying not to go through the fiberglass shell <laughs> Een klein beetje, ja. Een klein beetje. Het drijft mooi, jongens. Ja? Ik ga veel werk, heb ik gezien. Ja, maar hij werkt er al, hoor. Ik kan uh, maar één dag helpen. Everything up here is sorted, a little piece, looks like an uh, old Renault 5, is it? Oop. There's a bar I'm going to screw in, oh yeah. Got the screws ready, I'll take those out after. 
these ones especially because they're not stainless steel yeah I'm gonna acetone everything degrease pre-coat filler and the top put the piece in put the bar in put the backing pad screw that all in should be solid enough So my camera battery couldn't handle the amount of filming I did yesterday <laughs> but yes I put on a backing plate over that Renault 5 shaped piece screwed it in with little tiny screws uh, I might just leave those little stainless screws in um, and then this bar I put in with these kind of wood screws and uh, I need to take those out but they're going to be difficult just want to say a huge thanks to Thomas for coming and helping out. My filming actually was pretty rubbish, but he helped me with a lot more stuff than what you saw in this video. And also, he's taken a lot of time out from his YouTube channel for a good reason. So check out his YouTube channel. He's just now starting a pretty ambitious trip. He's been really helpful. So go and check out his channel. He was helping me power wash the boat months and months ago in the cold snow. That is all my footage, pretty much. The only difference is I've got a big knife for my phone and I've cut out a panel for that. And also done a little bit of work on the outside of it, but that's pretty much all my footage. Packed in a lot in this episode. Just also trying to live your life. <laughs> trying to be clean, well-fed, well-rested among making these videos and doing the work. I am thinking just so that I can get a little bit of rest and also get ahead a little bit with my footage so I'm not stressing every week because every week it's a stress. Have I got enough footage? I need to do more. Da, da, da. So I think next week I'm going to take a break. Thank you for understanding. Uh, I'm still going to be working on the boat. I just won't be editing a video. Give myself a little breathing space with my footage and uh, yeah, so I can continue to make nice condensed videos. I did definitely get sucked into this rabbit hole a little bit, but it is good learning for me and, you know, fixing this bit up, which is not going to be as crucial as where the chain plates are going to be. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to crack on and continue with this work. Thank you very much to you PayPalers, Coffeeers, Patreons. Uh, I think my wish list isn't working. I can't, I can't get it to, to work. So don't worry about that but yeah thanks so much to you guys thanks for watching i have been saying lately that because of your guys's contributions i don't need to uh, do any sort of sponsored integrations in my video however over the next few weeks i'm hoping to get some free stuff <laughs> so you will see some products popping up um, another blue etty power bank and um, well we'll see we'll see but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for sitting through the videos. Uh, and thanks for your likes and comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>